Hello gamers, in the last video I created this funky prototype of a combat system and asked you all for ideas on where it could go next. And you all delivered well beyond my expectations, but with so many options for where to go, it was too hard for me to choose so I did what every game dev does best and started over from scratch. Okay, so with a clean slate, let's have a look at some of the suggestions. There are a few comments talking about combos and chaining different moves together, which reminded me of other games like The Force Unleashed or God of War, and how fun it was to get creative with your options. That inspired me to make some sort of rudimentary combo system while still keeping in theme with the telekinesis idea, so let's make that. I started off by creating some simple attack animations, and man, I used to love animating as a kid, but ever since I became a tech artist, animation has been a bit boring to me, so... This was a bit of a slog. Anyway, you'll notice this extra bone flying around everywhere. This bone acts as an attraction point for the objects. The idea is that when you attack, it will attract an object to this bone mid-attack, so it looks like you're controlling it with your mind. So with one attack in, I tried it out, and it was working. It picks up the closest object and attracts it to that bone. The way I did this was pretty simple, I just put in an animation notify in this attack animation, which is kind of like a little trigger to tell the game, hey, attract an object at this point in the animation. Then I can just interpolate the object's position to the bone after that notify triggers. To chain more attacks together, we can use some more notifies. Here I've added some for when the combo window opens and closes, so if the player presses an attack button within this window, it will play the next attack in the sequence. How the attacks and combos are determined are just through these little containers called data assets, and they can tell the game how much damage the attack should do, or the animation that should play, and more importantly, I guess the possible next attacks that this one can string into. So I added two more attacks, and now we have a little attack sequence. Looking good. There was also a popular suggestion of using the corpses of enemies as weapons because I mean, of course there was, so I added that in, and now you can slap enemies with their dead buddies. It did seem pointless having a character that can use telekinesis, but they only have these close ranged abilities, so I added back the ability to shoot objects, and it was kind of at this point that it started to feel better to me than the previous prototype. Uh, having the option for close and long range attacks is pretty fun. I also quickly added in some more abilities which are very very bare bones at the moment so you can pull enemies in, push them away and also dash in a direction. And with these things in some cool gameplay moments are already starting to emerge where you can maybe shoot an object at an enemy, close the gap with a dash and then start smacking him or you can also bounce objects off walls and catch them for, for style points I guess. And this has been a pretty fun project to mess around with, but I think I'd like to move on to something different for the next video. To be honest, I'm running out of steam on this idea. You can tell, because I was too lazy to create running animations, I just made the player levitate when they move. Uh, but anyway, I think I'll put this project in the vault for now, and come back to it later when I'm inspired by the concept again. So the next video on this channel will most likely be something completely different, like a prototype of a movement game, or some game tech explainy video, who knows. I'm just doing what I feel like here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Did I make it better? Did I make it worse than before? I don't know, let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.